Imagine a world overrun by zombies. That's not just a Hollywood fantasy, but a scientific possibility. This statement might send a chill down your spine, or perhaps even conjure up images of your favorite zombie flicks. But what if I told you that this seemingly far-fetched fantasy could become our reality? Yes, you heard it right. The idea of a zombie apocalypse, a concept that has been extensively explored and exploited in numerous movies and TV shows, might not be as fictional as we believe it to be. We're all familiar with the plot. A deadly virus breaks out, infecting the population, transforming the living into the undead, and leading to the collapse of our civilized world. It's a storyline that's been repeated over and over, fueling our fascination with the undead and our fear of the end of the world. But could this actually happen? Could our planet as we know it be overrun by the undead? While it might seem like the stuff of pure fiction, there are scientific theories that suggest such an event is not entirely impossible. From parasites that can control the mind, to poisons that can mimic death, from brain disorders that can lead to mindless violence, to the potential of stem cells to reanimate dead tissue, and even the possibility of a virus that could turn us into mindless killing machines, science offers some intriguing, if not terrifying, possibilities. These theories, while they might seem like they've been ripped straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, are based on real scientific phenomena. They offer a glimpse into the dark and mysterious corners of our world, where the line between life and death is blurred, and where the unthinkable could potentially become reality. So consider this. What if a zombie apocalypse isn't just a product of creative minds, but a future we might have to prepare for? As we delve into these theories, keep an open mind because the world of science is stranger than fiction. First on our list is a tiny creature with a terrifying power, the Toxoplasmosa gondii parasite. This minuscule menace is a master of manipulation, naturally inhabiting the bodies of rats, but don't be fooled by its petite size. This parasite is a puppeteer, pulling the strings of its host to carry out its own survival strategy. In the world of rodents, a rat's fear of cats is a basic survival instinct. But when infected with Toxoplasmosa gondii, this fear transforms into a fatal attraction. The parasite alters the rat's brain, making it drawn to the smell of cat urine. This, in turn, increases the chances of the rat being eaten by a cat, allowing the parasite to complete its life cycle in the cat's gut. But here's where it gets really creepy. Toxoplasmosa gondii doesn't limit itself to rats. It can infect humans as well. Estimated to inhabit up to one third of the world's population, this parasite is often harmless, lying dormant within our bodies. However, in some cases, it can dramatically alter human behavior, leading to personality changes and even heightened chances of insanity. Imagine for a moment a world where a significant portion of the population is infected and the dormant parasite suddenly becomes active. The repercussions could be catastrophic. Infected individuals could become erratic, violent and unpredictable, much like the terrifying zombies we see in popular culture. And here's the kicker. We wouldn't even need a zombie virus for this to happen. All it would take is a trigger to activate the parasite, and we could find ourselves living in a real-life horror movie. The mind, usually our greatest asset, could become our worst enemy, controlled by a microscopic organism that has one goal, survival. In conclusion, the Toxoplasmosa gondii parasite presents a chilling example of how nature can blur the line between fiction and reality. So next time you're enjoying a zombie flick, remember, in the wrong circumstances, a parasite could turn us into real-life zombies. Next, let's venture into the world of neurotoxins, substances that could put us into a zombie-like trance. Ever contemplate how certain poisons have the power to alter our reality, to slow down our bodily functions to a point where life and death become blurred? Well, brace yourself as we delve into this unsettling territory. There exist certain neurotoxins which, when introduced into our bodies, can induce a state of suspended animation a state where one might seem dead to the world. Imagine this, a person seemingly lifeless with a heart barely beating and breath barely perceptible. They appear to be in the arms of death, but in reality, they're under the influence of a potent neurotoxin. The scary part, this condition can be reversed with the right antidote, bringing the person back from their death-like slumber. But here's where it gets truly eerie. When the antidote is administered and the individual is revived, they don't simply spring back to life as their old selves. Instead, they wake up in a trance-like state, a zombie-like state, if you will. Their minds are not entirely their own, 
their actions not entirely under their control. They're alive, yes, but not quite living. Such is the power of these poisons, these neurotoxins. They can transform a living, breathing individual into a mindless, walking body. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The very idea that our own bodies can be manipulated into such a state, that we can be made to hover between life and death, all through the power of a single substance. But before you dismiss this as the stuff of science fiction, remember that these neurotoxins do exist in our world, and their effects are well documented in scientific literature. So, mindless, walking bodies might not be as far-fetched as it sounds. Our brains are complex and fragile, and certain disorders can turn them into ticking time bombs. Imagine a world where the brain, the very organ that controls our thoughts, emotions and actions, turns against us. That's the chilling reality for some individuals living with certain brain disorders. One such abnormality is Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, a rare and fatal condition that affects one in every one million people worldwide each year. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, or CJD, is caused by prions, misfolded proteins that cause other proteins in the brain to also misfold. This results in rapid brain damage, causing a variety of neurological symptoms. These include changes in personality, problems with memory and coordination, and visual disturbances. As the disease progresses, individuals may experience severe mental impairment, involuntary movements, blindness, weakness of extremities, and eventually, coma. But what's truly terrifying is the potential link between CJD and mindless violence, a trait often associated with the undead. While most patients with CJD display rapidly progressive dementia and neurological signs, there have been documented cases of patients exhibiting aggressive behavior, even violence, which are out of character for them. Now let's be clear. We're not suggesting that CJD could cause a zombie apocalypse. The disease is too rare and not all patients display violent behavior, but it does illustrate a disturbing point. Our own brains, under the right conditions, can lead us to act in ways that are out of character, even frighteningly so. Consider this. If a relatively rare disease like CJD can alter behavior to such an extent, what could happen if a more common brain disorder mutated or evolved? Could it lead to widespread changes in human behavior? Perhaps even a world where people act like the mindless, violent creatures we see in zombie films? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But it's also a reminder of just how fragile our brains are and how important it is to understand and protect this complex organ. We might not need a virus to turn violent, our own brains could betray us. Stem cells, the building blocks of life, could also be the architects of a zombie apocalypse. Now that's a statement to make your skin crawl. So, how could these tiny cells, usually hailed as a beacon of medical advancements, potentially spawn the undead? Stem cells have the unique ability to differentiate into any cell type in the body. They can become a brain cell, a heart cell, or even a skin cell. They're like the shapeshifters of the cellular world. This ability has opened up incredible possibilities in regenerative medicine, with scientists using them to heal damaged tissues and cure debilitating diseases. But what if we push the boundaries? What if we use stem cells not just to heal, but to resurrect, to bring back the dead? As eerie as it sounds, it's a question that science has begun to explore. Some researchers have proposed that stem cells could be used to regenerate dead brain tissue. Yes, you heard that right. The idea is that if a person dies and their brain cells begin to decay, it might be possible to inject stem cells into the brain to replace the dead cells. These newly formed cells could potentially restart the brain's basic functions. But here's where things get a touch ghoulish. If we can resurrect the brain, what state would that brain be in? Would it have memories, personality, consciousness? Or would it be a mindless existence, driven by primal instincts and devoid of humanity? The latter scenario paints a terrifying image that echoes the characteristics of zombies we see in horror films. Of course, this is all speculative. The ethical and technical hurdles of such an endeavor are colossal. Would it even be right to reanimate the dead? And if we could, should we? These are questions that society and science would need to grapple with. Death might not be the end, but a beginning of a new horrifying existence. The idea of stem cells resurrecting the dead is truly chilling. A haunting reminder of the fine line between life and death, and the potential horrors that could await us if we dare to cross it. Finally, the most terrifying of all, a virus that turns us into mindless killing machines. This is not a figment of some horror writer's imagination, but a chilling possibility grounded in science. 
We've seen how viruses can manipulate our bodies, causing illness and even death. But what if a virus could manipulate our minds? Imagine a virus that erases our innate human characteristics, our rationality, our empathy, our ability to reason. A virus that turns us into creatures driven by a primal hunger, oblivious to the world around us, unresponsive to the pleas of our loved ones. Imagine a world where every infected person is a potential predator, where every encounter is a potential death sentence. This is not just the stuff of nightmares. Viruses are constantly evolving, adapting to survive and spread, and there are already viruses in the animal kingdom that radically alter their host's behavior. Consider the rabies virus, for instance, which can make its host aggressive and irrational, or the parasitic wasp that injects a virus into a caterpillar, turning it into a living incubator for its larvae. Now, imagine a virus that could do something similar to humans, a virus that could wipe out our rationality, our empathy, our very humanity. This is the terrifying potential of the apocalyptic virus, a scenario akin to the gruesome world portrayed in the movie, 28 days later. Of course, this is all speculative. We don't know if such a virus could exist or if it could ever jump from animals to humans. But the possibility is there, lurking in the shadows of our understanding of virology. And as long as that possibility exists, so too does the potential for a real-life zombie apocalypse. A deadly virus could bring about a world where the living envy the dead. So, there we have it. Five scientific possibilities that could lead to a zombie apocalypse. Firstly, we delved into the world of parasites, where the Toxoplasmosa gondii lurks, infecting rats and potentially humans too. This cunning parasite could cause changes in personality and heighten the chances of insanity, creating a wave of zombie-like humans with altered states of mind. We then examined the power of certain poisons, capable of slowing bodily functions to the point where the victim appears dead. But with the right drugs, this state can be reversed, leaving the individual in a trance-like state. Imagine a world filled with these trance-like beings, eerily similar to the walking dead. Next, we navigated the complex landscape of brain disorders such as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, which can trigger mindless violence. If this disorder were to become widespread, we could have an army of violent mindless humans on our hands, a nightmare scenario akin to a zombie apocalypse. Our fourth exploration led us to the frontier of medical science. Stem cells. These miraculous cells can regenerate dead brain tissue, potentially leading to the reanimation of dead bodies. While this could be a boon for medical science, it could also pave the way for a real-life night of the living dead. Finally, we looked at the possibility of a virus that turns humans into mindless killing machines, much like the horrifying scenario presented in the movie 28 Days Later. A virus of this nature could rapidly decimate populations, leaving behind a post-apocalyptic world dominated by zombies. Remember, while these scenarios may seem far-fetched, they're not entirely impossible. So buckle up and get ready, because the zombie apocalypse might just be around the corner.